Yes, sir. Ready to talk about some horses before we get to at the close, but I, I, I'm already going to get the intro started because I'm ready to get into some horse race and talk with Joe. I know you guys are ready. I see some comments in the back. I see it. I see it. I, I see you guys. Tiny Pie, Bill talking about some horse racing. Let's get into it. Welcome to at the close. All right. It is time for pre-market prep at the close. Three consecutive highs open, matched yesterday's low, and then once it took out there, that's all the breakout momentum traders needed. All right, all right, let's go ahead. Let's bring on the man himself, Joe L. Conan. What's going on, man? How we doing? Oh boy, oh boy. Ah, wow. Wild day in the markets, but we will get to that at 3 30 p.m. But it's uh it's time for my Kentucky Derby preview. Um, you guys put out uh, the articles already out there, so you guys have a sneak preview. Guys, um, take a take a sneak preview if you want. Right in the description, you can click on that link. It'll take you right to Joel's article. Just wanna... yeah, there's my article. Um, I am making a personal guarantee that hmm. my horse will do better than my pick last year. Uh oh, my pick uh -oh. last year, I can't I can't remember the I name of so. that. I think he just finished. Uh, but he got he got <laughs> jostled out of the gate, and uh, I can't even think of what the horse was, and he just never recovered. So uh, that's the first cut, first thing I want to mention. Uh, the second thing is the weather looks good, okay? And okay. I, I've checked the weather, so it's you important. Know, if 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 things change, right, and it, there's a torrential downpour, I really don't have a mutter. So that's just one other caveat, but uh, you know, we let's forget about last year. Let's forget about Medina Spirit and all that had happened. Let's forget about Bob Bafford. He's racing. He's still racing, folks. Don't think Bafford has gone away. He's racing over um, overseas. But let's yeah, he'll get be back. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if he'll be back or not. But um, <laughs> so let's go now. You guys know I, I like to stay away from the favorite. Okay, you know, just because you know, I, I like odds, and in a 20 horse field, you're gonna get some pretty good odds. But I gotta talk about who's gonna be the favorite. I think should be a favorite by a wide margin, and that's Epicenter. Uh Epicenter's okay. trade by Steve As Asmussen, and he is the winningest trainer in all of North America. He has more wins, but Mitch, you know what race he hasn't ever won? What race has he never won? The Kentucky Derby. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but just, you know, this is, this is the Louisiana Derby. And the other reason I'm kind of shying away from him uh, is that the, the uh, Louisiana Derby has been run since um, 1894, almost as long as the Kentucky Derby. Do you know how many horses have won the Louisiana Derby and have translated that into a win in the Kentucky Derby? Probably not much. I mean, the way that you're going for three. three, three, yeah, man, yeah. Um, yep. so the odds are, if if anything, he probably doesn't win, right? Well, I mean, he's going to be the betting favorite here. Let's watch this race, and I'm sure you guys can hear the audio. You can hear the ad. All right, I'll get him on here. Well, we there we are. And so, sir. Curly tail, epicenter, he's number and six. there's Pioneer of Medina. Number okay, he is race. in the middle of the field right here. So Sosa yep. cleans at the inside for Fomon. Racing Drew, outside, of okay, Medina a little bit, and close early in the race. Third. He's in third. You know, just kind of on the outside, too. You know, that's, the that means he's, you know, now he kind of shuffled. He's still in, he's on the race. The seven, driver, seven, keeping him on the Covered oh, up a little go, bit, go, but uh, the rider you can see still has a good hold on him, right? Nicely settled toward the inside, running in third. This run to the half mile pole, component in fourth. Daltis, now fifth. watch this Ready move that this horse makes. Battle of Bowl, followed toward the inside by Curly Tail. The trailers remain silent power, and finally, call me midnight. The opening quarter was three point twenty seven seconds, half mile forty seven. Now he's moving up on seconds, the inside there. Half mile to run. And Russ, you got to take a drive to somewhere where it's legal. Just take a drive. 
Watch him. Watch him. Gonna, he's going to give him a little, a little, a little hit here at the whip, and he's going to take off. He's going to go three wide, and look at this move here. He went kind of wide there. He went four wide. He went wide. Epicenter. Those building momentum. 55, 69 seconds. Epicenter. Take me. Shows that Pioneer of Medina and Call Me Midnight coming past Steve and Epicenter, who's kicked away now. Okay, from Zozo's Pioneer strong Medina race, third best Epicenter. Strong race, strong race. So now, an, an, yeah, another thing about Epicenter, too, that you got to keep in mind is the Derby's a mile and a quarter, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of these horses have never gone a mile and a quarter, a lot of these horses have only gone a mile and an eighth, right. The Louisiana Derby, they ran it at a mile and three teenies. So he's mm. gone the distance. Okay. Here's another horse. Okay. And I don't know if this is the one Mitch likes. Uh, uh, but um, boy, this horse. Which which one are we going to uh, watch now? a lot of kids. Um, well, come on well, now. Well, I'll, I'll let you give What's the horse first. And then what? what race? I might play it. And so they, I might play a little bit better. Yours was freezing up what, a little bit there, uh, Joel. Uh, the Bluegrass. The bluegrass? Okay, I got you. I'll play it right yeah, here. The I got you. I can do it. Okay. Here, I got you right now. Perfect. Let me set it up for us. All right. Let me put it full screen okay. here. All right. Let me put it up. All right. All right, guys. You guys ready? Are you ready? Let's get it going, guys. And... They're off. And they're off in the Grade One Toyota Bluegrass Stakes. And there goes Volcanic, and there goes Emmanuel out for the lead. Emmanuel now moves forward. You got to call it, Joel. Golden Glider yeah. will go second. Okay. Now, what we're going to be watching here is number four. This is Zandon. Okay. And the only place you have to look for Zandon is six back. Is it the back? The seventh there. You'll hear the you'll hear the guy saying he's in last place. In the eighth spot, heading off the first turn. Black Adder ninth on his outside. Yeah, Command you can see four right now. He's in the blue. Yep, that's four. The 11 after an opening quarter in 24.04 seconds. Watch Emmanuel, how he makes the leader. His way, man. Emmanuel leads it by. Well, three now he gets shuffled. He gets and shuffled the last year. Three quarters of a length. Smile Happy is third up on the outside. Volcanic. I, I like how he didn't in freak fourth. out, though. Fenwick you can tell the jockey he's his not inside, freaking out. Takes over fourth by just ahead. See, and now this guy has him on the outside. In the fifth position, Ethereal Road is in sixth. Yeah, Black Adder's a wide seventh. And then Command Performance comes next onto the far turn. Zandon in behind horses, eight lengths off the lead, has rattle and roll to his outside. It was 48.39 He's seconds for the opening right half. Shuffle. Emmanuel, the leader, on to the final turn. Emmanuel by just a length. Golden Glider second, three quarters. Now he's of last. Length. Mile Happy is right there, third, up on the outside. As Watch they the way turn. this guy weaves through the pack. Fourth and fourth, rattle and Ooh, roll. Look at him, look at him. Angles to Whoa. the far outside, Whoa. fifth. Still Whoa. nine lengths look off that. the lead, Move just to the outside inside. of Ethereal Road. Yep. Moving by the quarter pole. Emmanuel, the leader. Smile hey, Happy now the takes aim from the outside. Passes, right? Here's Smile Happy to take the lead from Emmanuel. Zandon Look at is that running boy. Late. Zandon this has is my moved pick, guys. My pick right here, baby. Of traffic from the back Let's of the go. pack, and he is now taking command in deep stretch. It's over. Zandon wins that. the Toyota look, look how Bluegrass he too. with a dramatic stretch run he, for Flavian Trap. Close. Smile he happy took a had little to settle lead for there. second. One yeah. minute. Was that a point three five seconds? That was a, a good was run. Was that right there. impressive? Okay, yeah. let me uh can you go back to my screen because yeah, I, got I, I got this uh, okay. All right, so we'll we'll go to these other picks, these other secondary picks, but this is who I'm going with, and it's Taba. Okay, very light, lightly uh raced horse. This is only his third start ever, okay. Um, and it was a small field in Santa Anita. We haven't had a winner in the Santa Anita win uh, the derby in a while, but man, this horse is fresh. And watch this race by Taba here. Uh, he just stalks them, and we'll get it going. And they're off in the run happy to Anita Derby. For Kingdom flashes his feet out of the gate, and Taba came away in good order second. Messier third through the opening furlong, and Armagnac is fourth about four lengths off the pace. Then Happy Jack and win the day. Is at the back of the field. Forbidden yeah. And into the first turn, 
And Messier moves right into second. The favorites are 1-2. Head to the furlong pole. Two more back to Taba in third. Then it's Armagnac, fourth. Five lengths off the leader. Happy Jack is next. Win the day far back. Field heads to the five. Just, pole, just, chasing just forbidden going easy here, yeah, right? Along. Going easy. Let like the favorite a a cut it. Take the lead. Messier getting a little bit closer in second. It's three more back to Taba by himself in third. And Armagnac is fourth now, six lengths off the lead. Big gap to Happy Jack. And win here he the goes. Day. He's going to give him a little, a They're little, the like say, giddy up, pony, right here. Santa Anita Derby. Oops. Santa Anita Derby. And Forbidden oh, King the controlling speed. Messier moving in now with a. It's flank. okay now. Has just two to make now up. Watch this move. Come toward the quarter pole. Armagnac fourth, and Messier has taken the lead at the quarter pole and quickly pulls away from Forbidden Kingdom. Tabor running a giant race on the outside. Oh, come on. Vid yeah, the video struggled in there a little bit. I, I can look it up if you want. Here, What's right wrong with my computer? Here, Mitch. You're good. Here. Just pull, pull it down. I got you. I got you. I'll, I'll look it up here. Oh, do you got the end of the race? Yeah, I can look it up. Which, which that, that was... Uh... Which one was that one again? That was a Santa Anita Derby. Santa, Santa Anita. Uh, Santa Anita. I think it's yeah. 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 Just pull it up to the last part of the race, man. I got too many, uh, too many windows running here. <laughs> hey, you know how it goes sometimes. Uh, trying to pull up that race here right now. Give me one second, guys. I didn't have that horse pulled up here. There it is. Oh, they don't have the race there. All right. Well, uh, did, um, I don't okay. have that specific one, but okay. yeah. Well, I mean, anyways, he closed he, really strong, right? And so that race was only a, yeah, was only a mile and an eighth. I think he's got the stamina to go a mile and a quarter. Um, the uh, the you know, it's just it's just can he get can he get that kind of position? It's going to be a stampede. Uh, but I just like that closing speed. Like I said, it's only his third race. So he's fresh. So I'm hoping mm -hmm. that his, his being fresh in sound is going to overcome his inexperience. So uh, that, that's a look at it. Um, I just want to mention, I mentioned Epicenter. I mentioned my pick, Zandon. Oh, man, that was a scary come from behind. But he's not, he, he ain't going to be able to uh, move around 20, 19 horses. So Zandon's got to get out there a little bit early. Um, I mean, he, he's it, coming at the 10 slot, right? The 10 slot is good, though. Yeah, the 10. Yeah, I like that because he can look both ways. Exactly. Uh, uh, the other long shots, you know, the other derby prep winners, um, Cyberknife. Uh, Cyberknife okay. won the Arkansas Derby, uh, but he is just um, he's just not bred. He's not bred for this. You need that. Uh, you need horses in the bloodline. So uh, so I'm laying off Cyberknife. He won the Arkansas White Abario, winner of the Florida Derby. This horse was purchased for $7,500 at his sale. $7,500, and he was sold again. Uh, but he's a sprinter, too. Like, his mom and his dad are sprinters. So he, I don't think he's going to have the stamina. I gave you my long shot. Um, I'm hoping he's going to go off at 10 or 12 to 1. I'm going to throw him in some combos uh, with the two favorites, hoping that he comes in on top. Um, and with a 20 horse field, uh, I'm not messing with the trifectas. So, uh, that's my pick, man. May the horse be with you and, uh, make yourself a nice mint uh, julep. That's, uh, I got, I got one for one long shot, one long shot. I'm gonna give here. It's the okay. horse that beat my horse in, in, in 21 here. This was the Remsing. Um, and you're going to watch how Here's he comes Mr. and Jefferson. closes. Here's watch how you'll, you'll see Zanin. He's in seven. He starts taking the lead, but yeah. then out of nowhere, look at to the left here. Look at the speed of Mo Dongle here. Closing in here. That was great speed there. Mo Dongle. You see? He, he has some speed too, so. I know. And David, here's the only thing, Mitch. Okay. Um, 87 starts from okay. the one hole, the Kentucky Derby. 
Okay, mm. eighty-seven. Okay. Do you know how many horses have won from the one hole in those eighty-seven races? Maybe like one. I think. Wait, I put this in my article here. Mo down. <laughs> Did I put Mo in here? Uh, Bo what a barrio. Nope, I didn't put uh, I Mo see in here. here. I see. I uh, see a little. Did I put them in the that, article? Uh, well, the only um, oh yeah, here it is. Only eight horses eight. of the last eighty-seven with the number one post mm. were victorious in the Derby. Uh, the last one was Ferdinand in nineteen eighty-six with the uh, Hall of Fame jockey uh, Billy Shoemaker up. Uh, so that's uh, that's going back. Okay. So. So I got my pick out there, folks. I got my. You guys didn't know I was such a good writer, too, right? Well, I have really good editors. I'm really not that good of a writer. But uh, <laughs> all right. So all right, we, there it we, is. Let's get we, let's let's get the the horse flow out now. Let's go to the market. We'll take a look, and it was another ugly, ugly. Red day, unfortunate. Well, it's guys. not over yet, Mitchie Mitch. It's oh, not it's over never yet. over. It's, it's never, never over. over until the fat lady sings. And uh, yeah, and she at uh, four p.m. <laughs> it, it is. It is. It, it's battling here. Uh, a couple things I just want to point out. I'm sticking with these lines here on the upper right chart. That 4350 4, folks. We are not out of the woods until we clear that level. Unfortunately, we're two hundred handles away. Right, so mm, that's a long ways to go. You see what I'm looking at on the cliff here. Monday's low, forty fifty six. Today's low, as it stands right now, forty sixty two. I just don't like we're hanging out down here. I'm not worried about forty twenty one fifty, which was another May nineteenth low of twenty one. I'm really not worried about four thousand. I think if we lose that level, folks, I don't know, 3,500, I don't want to get super bearish on you, but we got to know support is support until it's taken out. And it was, it's been defended so far. So that's what I'm looking at in the spoos. I'm not going to be real comfortable about the market until we can get back above uh, that. I mean, super bullish mode is above 4,300. So that's looking at the spoos. Uh, crude is a very interesting point, folks. And, uh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be a big boy to be trading crude and move, the way it moves around. But, uh, crude, you know, you had that crazy high 129. They tried to bust it under 90 a couple times and they couldn't. And, uh, this 110 area, if we, this is it, this is halfway back. We hold this 110. Hmm. Look out, Loretta, 115, 120. If, in fact, it fails here over the next couple days, then it could roll over and go down. Spoo's back over 4,100. Uh, gold, let's take a look at the gold market. Holding 1850 for now. Not quite an inside day. Got to lean on that 1850. Silver, ah, it's, man, silver is still close to the low of the move. Silver's looking like a dog. Uh, Bitcoin. That's down to 50 at 36, and Ethereum's down $44 at 26.84. Yeah, for a second there, uh, I'm sure a lot of people thought we were going to maybe potentially get a green week. But yeah, it does look like uh, it looks like that weekly candle is probably going to close uh, into the red there. We'll see what happens there on Good the point. Spot. What was what was I can tell you what last Friday's close. I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibility, Mitch. No, no, it's not I out think- of the possibility. I because we closed last Friday. Looks it's like so, it, but... so funny with all this up and down and all around. Last Friday's close was forty one twenty seven fifty. After it, it, all just the this... volatility, man, this volatility yeah. is no joke. I mean, uh, now we're giddy have... up here, though. We're we're giddy up. We might get to that forty one. That would be absolutely unbelievable. If I mean, I have if, a... if you're unchanged. I have 11.3 now ATR, and it just keeps increasing daily and daily. It's not like the ranges are going down. The ranges are increasing. So, yeah, crazy day. Um, but the one that really stood out to me that got hit the hardest, and I mean, Sayonara, I mean, UA, Under Armour, what happened there? Yeah, I mean, it was holy down a lot. Holy. Holy mackerel. It just oh, got slapped. Man. Yeah, I mean, this stock has always been on the brink of like 
doing horrible. And look at this. The pre-market low was near the high of the session. I don't know what to tell you about this one, folks. I guess if you want to hold on, nine bucks. Did we quite get there yet? I got two weekly lows at 875 area yeah. so that could be the next target we didn't get that low today though it's just gonna inch its way down uh don't have much to say about under armor spoos are ripping people's face off right now hunter i don't know when ua is coming back man I, I i wish i could tell you i mean maybe put a buy stop in it uh you know 11, 10.65 and it gets above there it shows a little strength maybe uh fill the gap but holy macro what a schlacking yeah, it's definitely uh, it's it's been hurting. That's for sure. Um, we didn't get into MP today. Uh, we missed the earnings, so let's cover that a little bit here. MP MP Materials as a lithium player, uh, it easily surpassed the first quarter earnings and sales estimate on Thursday afternoon. MP's earnings surged 285 percent to 50 cents a share, beating the forecast by nine cents. Revenue grew 177 percent to 166.26 million, crushing the estimates of 137.49 million. But as you can see. It went up after hours, um, at, you know, when they reported, but now it's actually below all that pricing, even a couple of days back. So uh, mm. definitely not in favor today. Yeah, you just got to keep an eye on the low of the move here. Don't look at the 4121. Holy mackerel, Mitch. Look at that. Mm. We're battling back. 4127.50. That was the low <laughs> from uh, or the close from last Friday. I hear um, you. I hear you. But must hold right here. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. If not, you're going to be looking at 35 in uh, MP, military police. We'll see what happened there. Um, let's get into some other areas. Uh, Lucid didn't move too much today. Let's go look at some other ones. Let's look at Block. How did Block perform here? No, I'm looking the at stock actually formerly here. known as Square. Um, you got to look at that 90 again. Holy macro. I can't believe yeah. they gave you a look at the – oh, wait. That – Oh, that it spiked down this, this morning and then it came back up. So it gave you that low. Oh, that's just a wicked candle right here. Oh, that that was off the open. Um, it's off the low. You filled the gap. You took out these lows. I mean, I'm not gonna argue with you if you want to be long. I just think you know you got a risk down to you know today's low at 88.56. That's a little bit, a little bit too steep for my appetite. But it is. It was really green on the session. So, you know, market dynamics, poor PayPal, man, that can't catch a bit. All right. Uh, we didn't get to cover this one also. So let's go ahead. Let's let's cover this one. I just want to tell you, people are coming in with bids here in the S&Ps. And yeah. they're coming in with like like three handle sweeps. Like I'm, I just looked at it in, in it was at 4120. And they just come in and they're like 4123 for 500 and they sweep out the book. So they're coming in. There some people are coming in with some size Dude, here. They're let's watching what... our uh, horse racing coverage. That's what happened there, man. All right, what's next? That's how the uh, that's how the, the, the SPY is right now. We'll take a look. Let's look at Cigna Corp here. Let's take a look at CI um, of course, uh, Cigna beat estimates earnings by 16.2%, reported an EPS of $6.01 versus an estimate of $5.18. Revenue was down 44.94 billion from the same period last year. So revenues were down year over year, but the EPS there um, from the estimate of $5.18 all the way up to 601. So good day there for Cigna. Yeah, I mean, you you got you got to like, I mean, just the price action here. If you're disciplined, it's not many, there, it's not yeah. many stocks that were up today. I mean, so yeah, um, opened uh, opened right at yesterday's high, right? Since you got a gap fill, quick move back down to fifty five. But you come back through that open, uh, I'll give you. A, I'm going to give you a five star level here, uh, two seventy. There's a big seller perched at two seventy. Uh, 69.97. That was the uh the high on the 21st. 69.84. Uh, that was the high on the 20th. So what what that tells you is you got a big seller perched at at 270. The high freaks step out in front of it. They know they have cover, so they hit it in the 80s and the 90s. They bring it in lower. They let it go back up there. 
They hit it again. So boom, big level. Next time up be the third time up. That'd be uh, but that would even be an all-time high. That's kind of interesting. So got to get rid of that 270 seller. Then you can take a look at that all-time high. That was made in May of 2021 at 272.81. All right, just to give a relationship with this one, because whenever I see those nice little breakouts like that, I, I look at from the other charts in the industry. A N T M Anthem looks interesting too. It's, it's kind of similar chart there on the daily. You can see that kind of peaking action there. We'll see if we can get back to those daily highs of five thirty. And what about U N H? Was U N H? Uh, oh, that's a five hundred dollar stock. Oh, yeah, I it just. I don't know. That one had a, a bigger pullback to resistance also. I mean, if it gets back above 500, it could, it could also start looking better there. It's trying, but that's yeah, trying to close the relationship. Yep. All right. Let's keep it going. Let's look at some other places. I did see solar take a big hit today. So um, when I tried to take a look at what got hit the hardest, um, the, the struggling sectors from the open were definitely consumer cyclicals and technology, but in tech, the, the hardest hit was solar ENPH kind of leading that down. It's the highest cap. It's 25.7 billion. And it had an 8.33 down day uh, turnaround there in EMPH, even though it looked like it was starting to get strong there. It looked like it was heading to 200. Definitely a turnaround. This is a messy chart, man. Messy, I, right? I, yeah. Messy, right? It, yeah. I said the same. It's it, it, it just choppy all around there. Yeah. It's kind of hard to uh, even see a I, pattern on this. I mean, two two lower highs, two lower lows, two lower closes. I mean, I don't know. Maybe <clears throat> if you're buying it here, you're leaning on one sixty. I don't know. Too too messy of a chart. I guess. I guess if you want to put your bull your bull hat on for this one, you'll say, hey, you know what? Relative strength basis. Uh, we are holding the March low. You know, way above it, right? As the market took out the March low. And no, let me do this a little bit better because I want to see this retracement here because this is sometimes you got to zoom a little farther out. Oh boy, right here, 170. Prove to me that you can hold 170 and you can go back up and test 180 and 190. The longer this thing doesn't catch a bid off 170, mm -hmm. look out, Loretta. And I'd say my, my derby pick is Taber. Taber. Taba, Taba. Taba, boy, what a, that's a tongue twister. So if you <laughs> miss that or you can rewind it or you can check out my article on Benzinga.com. What there else you, you got go, for there me, you Mitch, go. Mitch? You have it. Check it out. Also, the link is in the description if you just want to click a link here. Uh, let's keep going. Let's keep rolling here. Um, what was up today was actually utilities here. So um, there is some stocks that were moving good here. Uh, I'll point out NRG here. It says a 9.4 billion cap. Um, <laughs> nice little chart, though, kind of coming right up towards the highs. Um, it's battling every time it gets up here by the 42s. We'll see if it can get moving. Is there is there news on this thing? Uh, no, I think this is just moving with the power producers. I'll take a look here really wow, quickly. Wow, that but... is a big move. Uh, wow, the XLU is not – well, the XLU, I got a level for you here. Uh, the Got to get above 7250. Uh, I, man, this is a big move, and if there's no news on it – I mean, you see, you see the forty-one fifty. So you want to, you want to see this thing keep going. Uh, you don't want it to stall out now. Pair of highs, forty-one thirty-six, forty-one fifty-two. That just tells me you got a big seller purchased at forty-one fifty, um, and they're trying to get out forty-one thirty, forty-one forty. But that's a big move, and you want to see follow through up to that forty-one fifty uh, for a potential breakout. But that. Big move. Uh, I don't I see what it, chasing well, here. I see what made it get a little bounce there would be some earnings, of course. EPS at seven dollars and seventeen cents up from uh, a loss of thirty-three cents last year. So uh, that just shows you the difference that's been going on in energy, right? I mean, if yeah, they were just real quick, I'm sorry, year, Mitch. Back to the spoos here. Let's what go, number. let's go. Twenty one twenty seven. That was a high of your last bracket. We mentioned the close from last Friday. Oh, 20, we're going was it, green. Oh, 27. We failed here. This is the moment of truth. 
Candibles Conquer. Oh. No, beaten down again. 41 27 50. A major roadblock trying to go green on the week. We got 14 minutes now. We'll see if we can do it. Hey, you guys hear it just like a race itself here going into the close. We got just about what, 13 minutes left, a little under 13 minutes here. We'll see if we get to that weekly. We'll probably, go down and take out the we'll probably go down and take out the low. <laughs> no, no, the no imbalances coming in now. Please. Oh, yeah. What do we got for in? imbalances? Yeah, that's what I'm going to take a look right now. I'm going to just take a peek to see if there's anything there. I only see 150 to the million to the sell side, but that's nothing. <laughs> Did you hear what Dennis said yesterday about how they uh they why they rallied it yesterday because the sell imbalance was so small? Uh, <laughs> but uh, man, you got you got a line in the sand here, folks. It's twenty seven fifty. We're still teetering with it, uh, three four points away. They beat it back down every time it gets up there. So we'll see what happens. Let's go. Let's give you some more stocks. Uh, let's let's take a look at a stock that I think. Not a lot of people expected to be down here by the end of the week is, of course, Amazon uh, just getting destroyed after that. It got hit, but, I mean, it's still on the downside there. It hasn't caught a bounce oh, at all. Ho, ho, ho. I mean, at least for me on the daily, that's not catching a bounce. That's that's, that's making a new low on the move. I yeah, mean, new low on the move, just continuing down. You get these monthly charts, folks, and you get areas, right? And – um. There's you some just, space. Yeah, there, there's some room to go. And uh, here we go. The next monthly low, the next potential, 22.56.38. Uh, boom. And got there close today. Uh, you could have an undercut and rally here if you could have closed above this low, uh, which was 23.01. So it – possibility of an undercut low and rally and leading on the low but uh huh, that's a scary looking chart hey, not moving spoons are green we're getting on a the little week. bit baby 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 Can, we're getting oh. it baby for, for some reason yeah we still uh we still haven't closed green uh, for this the, bracket. The horses yet. are trying to get out the track there. We'll see if they can get out there. Um, I'm sure that uh, everybody's watching. Even Brock's like, yeah, come on, come on. I, I talk about it. Let's go, let's go. We'll see what happens here, guys. Let's do some stocks for Hunter. Hunter is being uh, pretty uh, – he's looking at AYX got, long at 2028. Oh, man, I can't look at 2028. I don't know what the hell is going to be. I don't even know if I'm going to be alive in 2028. Um, I would look at this. Uh, if you're going to go that long, Hunter, then you got to just look at your monthly charts, and you just got to determine what it's doing on the monthly, right? And you've, you had your low. You, had, you know, your low of the move at 49.50. You had your high at 76 and a half. Now you're pulling back here. So if this stock, I have no idea where it's going in 2028, but I could tell you it better hold 63. Because if it don't doesn't hold 63, you got <clears throat> you got some room on the downside there. So that I don't even know what they do, but that's what I'm looking at. Three really bad days. Um, MQ, I own this pig too. I don't think it's ever go. Oh, it's not a buck fifteen. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a bag holder on this one. Oh man, I might need to buy some more. Uh, I don't know what to tell you about MQ. That was a Sean Udall pick, and uh, I'll have to talk to Sean about that one. Uh, I don't know what yeah. to say. I don't uh, know what both, to say about what, what I would say is both of these names are in software software names. So just be careful with those software names. I've been seeing those get hit the most. I mean, when we're seeing kind of these forward earnings look, a lot of them come from the software uh, kind of realm, and you're seeing them take the slacking. Yeah, this one just – just oh, man, don't know what to tell you, man. I I might just dump it. I don't know. We'll see if I what happens at the end of the year. But there's nothing here. New all time low. Maybe watch a firm. See if that catches a bounce. So the whole buy now, pay later thing. They're they're buying and uh, uh, it's like uh, someone's asking for another one just to kind of give the same kind of look that I I would point to snow. It's in the same realm. Software application, big forward looking. Uh, PE and boom, getting yeah. the slack. Gosh darn it. Oh boy, it, I don't even know. It's it, guys, a lot of it, a lot of it is what Dennis has been pointing to. Like, you know, if these companies have those big forward PEs, aren't making money right now, 
or something in that case, I mean, that's where you just got to really be careful about a company here. Ah, uh, boy, oh boy. Yeah. And then, and then they, they come in and they, they miss I mean, look it. at Roblox. <laughs> They they love this stock, right? Everyone wanted to buy this stock. I mean, it's almost down. I, I'll get it underneath ten dollars. Now that I'll take it. But I mean, we're we're down to twenty seven from one forty. Wow. I mean, what do you? I don't even know what to. I, I'm at a loss for words on these stocks. Yeah, you know, you gotta be careful with these. Yeah. Gotta be careful. Um. Yeah, a lot of stocks coming down there, looking ugly. Um, one that we haven't talked about in a while, Zynga. Look at that one starting to break the shadow down there. Um, Where's they getting taken out? Yeah, they are getting taken out. I mean, I think the deal hasn't gone through there, but man, that doesn't look that great. I just saw the candles right there, and it, there's there's some shadow down there. Yeah, I thought the deal was supposed to be at nine. Uh, I don't know. You went six to nine, uh, three moves, seven fifty. So we'll I, you know, I'd be prepared. You know, maybe if you want to take a look at. Uh, uh, support that would be your next support there, and Zynga comes in at seven fifty. All right, let's go ahead. Let's take a look at maybe um, some num some names that have changed as of late, um, like Pan W. Um, look at this one. Um, you know, we've been taking a look at some other software names. So, uh, Pan W is an interesting chart for me because it's been oh. as of late, as of recent, where it's just falling off the cliff there. Wow, yeah, it got pumped up on the war stuff. Boy, boy, this has had a horrible week. Um this was earnings. When um do they have earnings yet? I got you. I'll look it up right now. Here. That's why we use the lovely, lovely Benzinga Pro. We got earnings confirmed 13 days from now, Thursday, May 19th. Yeah, maybe if you can find a double bottom. I mean, I, I don't think you're gonna you know, unless the market just uh, just ratchets down, I don't think you're going to see that before earnings. Who knows? But uh, four sixty six fifty. That was actually on an earnings day. Your major supports four sixty six and a half. I wish I could give something between now and there, but there's nothing there. There's absolutely nothing there. So uh, that's a long ways to go. Um, yeah, some of these stocks were even getting hit on good reports. So that was I was that was what I was concerned about with this earnings season is that you know the good reports are getting sold and they're not buying the bad reports. Uh, so that's not a really a recipe uh, for a rally. All right, guys, we got about six minutes till the close here. We're gonna take a look at any stocks that you guys wanted to mention too. You know, if you want to throw it up, here's your chance uh, definitely to go ahead and do so. Um, anything that's on you? Oh, let's let, let's talk Teledoc. about the Listen, pain. I just want to uh, talk. Uh, uh, I, I, you know you, what? You don't want to talk about it. We won't, we won't talk about the pain. No, we can. Why? why what did you want to? What did you want to bring up? We'll we'll do T Doc first, and then I'll, I'll bring it up. Uh, I know we don't want to talk about it, but it has something to do with this motion. Riding that bike, that Peloton. Life. Oh God, yeah. Oh, I was like, don't talk about that, man. This thing, I would. This thing had the the dead cap bounce. Then you put the double top oh, in. T duck at forty. Uh, now, I don't know if you're gonna find you, what you moved up. Uh, what was that? Like a twelve, uh, eleven point move, five and a half. You, oh, boom, oh, you're God. giving this back, man. You better find support here. You better find support here in a hurry. You're just going to drift back down to that low of the move. Where's Where's Peloton at? Like five bucks or something? Down a buck thirty four. Yeah, I heard they yeah. were looking for money. I heard they were yeah, looking, they're looking for, for suitors. They're like, can anybody take a stake to keep us alive? That's really <laughs> That's really a good thing to do. I mean, they really got some kick ass advisors over there. Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, that's. Hey. It's not as bad as That's body. It's not my call, man. This is <laughs> look Lisa. at look at body. Look at body. You so you see so you don't oh, feel Lisa. like it's just Peloton. Lisa. Lisa. I don't know if she's home yet. I'm gonna yell at her. Look, at, look at the beach body chart. Oh <laughs> man. Oh good lord, man. This thing's down to a dollar fifty-five. You know, this is the only time that I you know we talk about the markets and stuff. And you know, with this one, you know, I tried, I tried to say, you know. Uh, valuations, you know, just 
it, it, it matters. And <sighs> so when stories dead. stories were hot, Joel, stories were hot, and they were moving them back in the days. Um, let's take a look at this one. This is an interesting lithium player, ALB manual. Uh, ALB. Yes. How, how did you pronounce that? ALB. Yeah, Alba Marley. Alba Marley. Yeah. Marley. Corp. Hmm, that, I know this weird. is lithium. That's a, that's what I know at least. Um, uh, and here it, we go. Here we go. Double top potential. They don't. Double they don't top. only do lithium too. I, if, if I'm gonna be uh, certain on this one, I think they do multiple chemicals. But nice little push there. Got to get. I mean, you got a potential double top here. You have to be. I mean, you're still pressing up against it. Uh, 242 double top 243. I mean, after that does open up the path to 248. Uh, but you just got to respect it. Probably big seller purchased it uh, 243 and they're not moving. So keep an eye on that. What a week for this thing is our LTHM. Mm. I do own that from like six bucks. How's that? Oh man, you still Ooh, got that one? I should sell it. You still I didn't got know. that one? Yes. Wait, uh, what? Did they have earnings or something? Uh, yeah, they, they did. They did. They, they had good earnings. Oh, I should sell it this. It came soon. out on Wednesday. I should sell this soon. Uh, uh, lithium might uh, be big next year, man. Yeah, I don't know. Well, let's take a look. How's all? How's you never all sell, Joel. I know. <laughs> yeah. Um, what's going on? Oh, look at this quiet day. Very, very quiet in uh, in uh, Tesla. Don't have much to tell you here, folks. Um, they're protecting this little low that you had here. Got a mm, 845. That splits the two lows from uh, the low for the – made a new low for the week at 843.11. So you're 20 bucks away from there. I'd be a little hesitant if this took out 845. All right. Let's go to the Oxy by Kenneth. And I know that uh, earlier it was mentioned also because uh, I've been talking about it with Charlie. We've been looking at those 70 strikes for Oxy. Uh, we're, it's Charlie, uh, Charlie, uh, Gasparino. Yeah. Charlie Gasparino, you know, that, Charlie that's, from that's the squad. My, that's my friend, you know, and now it's Charlie Parshley here. Oh yeah. He's, is he new? He's, he's new. A, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's been hanging out with us. Where's he from? I don't know, but I, I know that he, he he's been watching a couple of trading I, streams on YouTube. Yeah, so. but yeah, I saw him in there. He found us. Um, let's see, Joel, hope you're doing well. Any views on the top? Oh, the ten year technically. Oh man, that thing's oh, just busting out. Lord. I mean, yeah, I don't know where the hell that thing's going. Um, uh, RAG on that one. I mean, you just gotta hope uh, that uh, we get a decent inflation. You know, that's it. I mean, uh, Dennis talked Oof. about it, and uh, boom, 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 boom. Uh, that's what you need. Uh, Oxy. We talked yeah, about Oxy. this one, Warren. I had the retracement. I remember talking about this earlier in the week. I said, you got to hold the 50%, 57. It put that in the rear view mirror. I'm going to take off this retracement. It's no longer valid. And my next target for Oxy, ooh, that's going to be closer. Man, I like 68. The reason I like 68. 68. Yeah, there's three yeah, levels. Out. Yep, yep. So that's it, folks. Uh, we ended up down 10 handles on the week. I didn't see where the four o'clock print was. Uh, we do have, we did hold the lows. I know, you know, one thing that I think is adding a little nervousness to the market is victory day uh, in Russia. I think that's supposed to be on Monday. Yeah, so I don't know Monday. if uh, Putin has any tricks up his sleeve before that. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, we, and I'm just going to go back to the S&P chart, your spider chart. Yeah. Look at your charts over the weekend. I mean, you got your must hold level on the upside, and you can't really say we're really out of the woods here, getting all giddy bullish until we take out 4,300. Now, revise that down to, you know, starting next week because that's 185 handles away. So it's not a great number. But uh, everyone, have a great weekend. Have a great Mother's Day. And um, go Taba. Yeah, have a great one, guys. Enjoy some sports. Enjoy some family time. And then most of all, we'll see you back on Monday. Let's go ahead. We'll wrap it up here, guys. Have a great weekend. Until next time, I'll see you guys right here on Prime Market Prep. At the close, let's go. See you guys. Take care, guys. All right.
Thank you.